Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a Canik SFX Rival S. The S stands for steel. This is a steel frame, full-size handgun with a 5-inch barrel and 18 round magazines. This was introduced at SHOT Show 2023 and a lot of people were super excited. Now allow me to go back in history for just a minute because I remember in 2017 they released the TP9 SFX and I was among the first to get my hands on this and it was right around 550 offers a ton in the case and Canik said you could take this out to Compete day one because they offer everything you need. You can see I have an optic plate on there. No optic. I've been pondering my options. But a great trigger, 5.2 inch barrel. And then what they did was they came out with the Mate SFX. Then the Rival or the SFX Rival. And then the SFX Rival S. And that's what this is. Since then they came out with the TTI Combat. But if I had to choose one, I would go with this. Goes about a grand. It's a beautiful handgun. All steel frame, optic ready. Let's go through it. Let's first talk about that trigger because that trigger is worth writing home about. It has a trigger tab in there. It's a flat face trigger. They changed that quite a bit. And with each model, they made it a little bit better. And more expensive, by the way. Full pick rail, but I want to talk about the trigger. Here we have... It's under three pounds on my scale, all right? Under three pounds, trigger tab in there, flat trigger. Breaks right at 90 degrees with a reset right there. About two and three quarter pounds, and it is such a nice trigger. I really like that. The deep cut slide serrations go throughout. You'll notice on the Rival series, they actually mimic that with the barrel. I think it looks cool. That That's only for aesthetics. There's not much function out of that, but I think it looks cool. And this is available in black. This is the chrome model. If I had to choose one, it would be the chrome model. The black one's cool. They go about the same price, right around a grand. Here we have serrated black rear sights that are adjustable and a fiber optic front sight. Optic ready. You can pull this cover off but you will lose your rear sight and with the Mate SFX they were able to get around that where you can keep your rear sight with the rival you lose the rear sight so I don't know I'd rather have the rear sight but that's the deal with this it has slide cuts right there lightning cuts even on the top strap Nice slide action. It is heavy. We're going to get it on the scale. It also ships with a couple different palm swells. And with the palm swells, you can see it says S. And then it actually, on this side, says Rival. I don't know if you can see that. It says Rival right there. Nice grip texturing. Not overly aggressive. But enough that sweaty, wet hands can still get a good grip on the pistol. It has an extended magazine release right there. And that is adjustable. It has a, a star key hole there and a tool in the case. I'm going to show that. But you could adjust the height of that. That really sticks out there quite a bit. They also have a flared magwell that you can install on there. Offers a ton in the case. And this is ambidextrous. So if you look at the, the slide stop, it is available on both sides. People ask me to check out this side. And yes, it works because it is true that sometimes you could operate the left side of the pistol, no problem, but the right side presents a problem. And lefties have told me that in the past. Love the trigger, love everything that it offers. And I have loved this one for years. And it, you know, I, I never knew that it would evolve to four separate lines actually five with the tti combat but they have but let me show you what's in the case then we'll get it on the scale it's a three level case very thick and canic is known for offering a lot with their pistols the first level is this sheath right here offering all the paperwork right there and then over here we have the pistol itself and then a tool there and also tools here. This looks like a little toy, but actually it offers tools, which 
helps with the optics and everything else. An additional magazine, a CR2032 battery, a flared magwell that we can put on there for quick mag changes, two additional palm swells. Here we have a couple additional base plates, four mags, that's the second level. And then the third level, we have five optic plates, a speed loader, an entire cleaning kit, and a holster. We'll take a look at that with this Kydex holster. Outside the waistband, fits nice and snug, it has a nice look to it, and then nice draw from it. Also available in this case is a Mechanic Red Dot. Big window in there, three MOA Red Dot. It is not included in every case. So you're looking at an upcharge of about 150 bucks. If you buy it separately, it's 240 bucks for this Red Dot. So Canik offers a lot and they certainly did not skimp out. Actually, they added more accessories with the Rival S. Let's get the Rival S on the scale. It is unloaded with the mag inserted. We're looking at two pounds, 10 and a half ounces. But if we add 18 rounds in the mag, we're looking at three pounds, two ounces. We move that to just ounces, 49 and seven eighths. How about a carry round? You're looking at 50 and a quarter ounces. So there is no doubt that it has a lot of weight behind it. Just for reference, let's go ahead and add the polymer frame TP9 SFX. Expect it to be quite a bit lighter. 36 and 5 eighths. So that is the difference with the steel frame Rival S. I love the way Canik does this disassemble. They're not the only one. Other manufacturers use it as well. But I think it's super cool. You just pull the slide back, these takedown levers, and then, well, I have to pull the trigger and off comes the slide from the frame. I love the way that operates it's so cool and, and easy five inch barrel opposed to the tp9 sfx with a 5.2 inch barrel and the sfx mate but then you just put it back on like this right there and operate the slide and then it's all put back together the chrome version is pretty nice black is cool same function no change only what you're looking at you know your your mileage may vary you may like the all black gun but it does work well with the holster and it offers three layers of accessories in the case very common with canic pistols but i think this one is a beauty and i hope you like it as well the trigger action really is Something that is pretty sweet. Canik has grown throughout the years. Their price tag has grown. And we see that with the SFX Rival S. But you'll have to decide for yourself if it's worth it. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. And you guys be safe.